Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad. Samoa Gabar back with another quick lesson. You know, at work, <laughs> Lord willing to edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit with Kakadash. Alright, now, you know, again, meditating on the scriptures and meditating on certain things. You know, as you see in the title, but like, you know, we know Trump is in this, uh, you know, we're still in a government shutdown, all right? America, still in a government shutdown. So, what's that gonna mean for brothers, for certain brothers, along with these other people, but let's say this government shutdown prolongs, you know, and this uh, IRS business doesn't pull through, brothers don't get the income tax, you know, a lot of us are gonna feel it because, you know, we're Jake, man, we're in a struggle, and a lot of us rely on income tax. You know, some of us, we have women and children who get food assistance, such as WIC, SNAP, and um, food stamps, you know? And if the government stays shut down, we're not going to get any of that no more, you know? But the point is, is that, um, you know, the point is, is that it's, it's, it's still a beautiful thing. It's still a beautiful thing because two-thirds are going to feel it more than we're going to feel it. <clears throat> Two-thirds of Israel are going to feel it a lot more than we're going to feel it because, for one, we have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Heavenly Father. The scriptures say in Isaiah 33 and 6, that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. So that's the advantage that we have over two-thirds. And furthermore, when we see these things happening, we should pray more and, and ask the Heavenly Father to speed it up and make things even worse because we know that these things have to happen and ultimately we got to have trust. That's number one. All right. Number one, having trust in the Lord that He's going to provide for us. This is um, Isaiah 65 and 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. All right. Now the Lord said, My servants are going to eat, but ye shall be hungry. Who's that he? Who's that ye? All right. Two thirds are going to be hungry, man. These other nations are going to be hungry. But the servants of the Lord, which you brothers who believe you're serving the Lord, you got to remember that the Lord said you're going to eat. If you consider, you know, if we consider ourselves serving Yahweh Bashem Shai and call ourselves the hopeful elect, Lord willing, then we got to trust that the Lord said that we're going to eat, man. So if this government shut down, you know, prolongs and we don't get tax money and then we start struggling for a while, that's okay because the scriptures say that, that we shall be tried, man, as gold is in the fire. And then the scripture also say in Revelation uh, 3, that we shall be tried 10 days, man. Brothers, some, bro the bro some brothers are going to be cast into prisons, you know? But the Lord is going to try us to test our faith to see if we really believed that he's going to provide for us. So it says, Therefore thus said the Lord, Lord Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And yeah, that's right. We're going to, you know, rejoice when we see calamity happen in America, man. All right? That's why... You know, it's important to, to, to tend to the spirit before the flesh, man. And not to get worried too much, man. I mean, we all, it happens. It happens It happens to me, it happens to all brothers, man. We get worried and we get caught up. But that's why it's important to look back at the scriptures, man. All right? So two-thirds are going to be ashamed when these things start to happen. But for us, it's going to be the beginning of our glory. Verse 14 says, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of spirit. So when two thirds of uh, hungry, starving, you know they can't eat. You know we see these benefits being cut off from our own people, the wicked ones of our own people. That's not time for us to mourn, man. That's time for us to rejoice, even though we might feel it at first. If if the Lord have it that way, which He might just have it that way, we just gotta have trust that He's gonna make a way for us to escape the temptations, as the scriptures say. All right, last scripture I have is um the book of Sirach. Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha chapter 2 the verse 1 which we all familiar with these scriptures but it's always important to rehearse it and bring it up again it says my son if thou come to serve the Lord prepare thy soul for temptation set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble so we got to constantly endure the hardness and afflictions that's going to happen to us man and make not haste in the time of trouble which what does it mean to make not haste meaning when you go through hell deal with it have patience alright and don't don't be all hasteful to, to get out of it man because if, if the Lord don't, because cause things are like this, if you make a haste in the time of trouble, and then you, you know you make a haste and you ask the Lord to take you out of it, take you out of it, and you lose patience, then what? 
All right, the most important thing is to have patience when you're going through these afflictions, when you're in a time of trouble. Have patience, man. You know, I'm telling myself this more than more than I'm telling you, brothers. Man, have patience when we are brought through hell, man. It says, "Cleave unto Him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end." All right, don't depart. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou change to low state. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right, so the Lord is putting us through trials and tribulations to make us pure fire. All right, because remember, you got—I mean—to make us pure gold. You got gold, and you got stubble. I right, both go through the fire, but only one comes out as a, as, a, as glory, all right? Glorious. Um, I'm going to jump to verse 10 and I'm going to end it. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? The answer is no. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? The answer is no. Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? The answer is none. The Lord is going to look out for you, man. He's going to look out for all of us as long as we put our trust in him. That's what it's all about. It's about faith. You got to believe that the Lord is going to do things for you, man. You got Ultimately, you got to believe that the Lord is going to deliver you from Jacob's trouble. All right? Even before Jacob's trouble fully is in, 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 um, you know, in effect, certain things like not getting, not, getting, not getting your income tax, you know, not getting your food stamps or whatever the case may be. I'm just saying, you know, we got to trust that the Lord is going to make a way for us to, to eat anyway, man. And hey, man, I hope, I hope, man. Honestly, I hope, I personally hope, man, even though I, I rely on income tax every year too and so does my, my woman hey man i hope the lord prolongs this government shutdown through this guy trump and then and then none of these people get to eat man because we trust that the lord is going to provide for us so with that i hope this was edifying and exhorting to my brothers out there the hopeful elect until next time i'm gonna say shalom